I can say a little bit about it because I have been um, as a speaker or chairman, I have been many different conferences. So during the time, uh, based on my own experience, it's uh, based on that I can answer it. And especially Vajrayana conference, you can see now Vajrayana is very worldwide, very famous. And then some people get full information, and some people get uh, half, and some people get fully wrong information. To, to clarify this kind of, uh, uh, you know, misunderstanding, and therefore, uh, it's very important to, to have a, such a conference like uh, the fourth, the Vajrayana conference here, which we are now running. And through that, you can clarify, you can explain what is it. So that's the main thing. And then, you know, uh, through this conference, you can release who has unknown anything about Vajrayana. Also, you can bring some knowledge or who has a little bit hint but doubt, you know, they don't feel so comfortable, there this conference can uh, make it, um, you know, they can get a very good uh, answer from the scholar. And then some people, they have fully misunderstanding. So therefore also this platform is wonderful that they can get uh, not just uh, answer, but answer from based on research. So that's why I think it's very important, especially mountain time. Um, it's everything you can see in the view. You can see everything in uh, Google. So now it's time to put the right information in the media. So this is the conference which is doing all these things. That's why I feel it's very important. Vajrayana practice, uh, you know, uh, it's very important, I felt it. So also it depends how you value. There is a two way of uh, paying value, values. One, oh, Vajrayana is such a highly uh, um, dharma or, you know, high dharma or it's very precious. In that way you can engage, that is one thing. But most important thing is Vajrayana practice. What is going into the door of the modern uh, people, you know, like uh, such a stress and negative emotions? Is it really going into the door, those practice? It's re uh, reducing stress or reducing hatred, anger, jealousy, that is very important to research and analyze. Then when you get some experience, yes, I have been doing this Vajrayana practice, now I feel I'm, I have a more uh, control to manage my anger, hatred, jealous. Then that's a real benefit. And that makes you really kind of joyfully engage to the Vajrayana practice. That's why very important. And I want to say, for example, um, you see, uh, Vajrayana practice, we begin from Ngondu. And Ngondu began from appreciate precious human life. And for me, this is really wonderful because the modern time, there, there is so much problem with the self-love, lack of self-love not being confident to yourself. And this one too is, it's really first teaching is you have to appreciate who you are. And with the Daljur Nyeta we call, the endowment and the free time, uh, free will to do altruism. So whatever shape you have, whatever skin you have, whatever um, agenda you have, but endowment, a facility to do the dharma, and then facility, you have a free will to do the uh, uh, altruism. So when you analyze that I have this chance, 
and really you, you begin to love yourself. You begin to know that how precious life you have. So see, it's very important. It's self, lack of self-love is a big issue in modern time because we live in a competition society. Then after that, we think uh, the life, life is impermanent. So it's not about only kind of impermanent, give up, it's not. But impermanent tells you, it's impermanent means you can change. It will change. You have an uh, opportunity to change. And that gives you hope. You know, oh, I did this mistake. I am not enough learned. So now it's impermanent. I can change. I can change with the right technique, right method. And that gives you kind of hope. So see, when you know this, when you read the modern um, negative psychology, how it's affecting in our daily life, then when you look at this practice, what is kind of providing positive psychology. So then when you uh, experience how it's dealing into your daily life, then really you know uh, the Vajrayana is one of the perfect method to uh, keep physically healthy, mentally healthy in this modern world. Salung Tulukor, Tulukor, there is uh, many different types of Tulukors. So you must uh, know, you know, the Tulukor and then how is your physical body. So based on that, you can, uh, you can uh, practice. Otherwise, oh, this is holy tulkor, now you have to jump and do it. You, sh uh, you shouldn't do it that. I don't recommend because uh, certain age, you are not capable to, to such a uh, jump and doing such a tulkor. So, and nowadays, you know, there is a, such a um, kind of thought that when you do tumu practice, and every people think that you have to do it such a tool course. It's not necessary. <laughs> Main tumu is meditation. So the tool course is part of meditation, which when you do, do such a tool course, it provides your meditation to, to kind of work quickly and swiftly. So that is one part, important part, but it's not the main essential part. So even though your 40 doesn't allow to do such a tulkur, but still you can do it to more practice. That I want to clarify one. And other things which I'm going to lead uh, uh, today evening at six o'clock, that is um, not fully traditional uh, tulkur, you know. Uh, this is all over the year, which I'm teaching to common people, Buddhist people, non-Buddhist, so who have an interest for the empowerment or non, I'm teaching generally. So therefore, uh, I kind of selected certain exercises which are very necessary uh, to, to uh, yes, normally I said, I, which I teach, there, there are three things included. So one is stretching your muscles, and second thing is through the lung or prana, you activate your immune system. And third is to uh, uh, bring your mind into peace. So my exercise, it's, uh, which I'm teaching uh, regularly, it has kind of three included, stretching and uh, developing your immune, immune system, and then to resting, uh, relaxing your mind. So that's what I usually teach. And these three things are very important. I, everybody knows it, you know. 
while we are getting old, you know, our muscle is getting more tight up. Therefore, every day, uh, daily basis life, you need to stretch your muscle and immune system, of course. And then, at the same time, you, feel, you have to feel relaxed. And I want to share one experience. When I am busy, sometimes when I meditate, I feel like I need stretching. When I do some stretching, I feel like inner immune system, I, I miss something. So over the year, I have kind of sometimes nervous, sometimes even I do some practice, but I'm not satisfied. So then I start which has uh, stretching and uh, activate your immune system and then also meditation together. So uh, since that I feel, you know, it takes, uh, when you know, it takes uh, 35 minutes and it's really always I feel better with that. And I used to teach many different countries and always they have wonderful feedback. So that encouraged me to, to teach continuously.